tonight. From Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers taking on Justin Herbert and the L.A. Chargers. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the San Francisco 49ers. south in the state of California were underway between the Niners and Chargers. And now a fair catch called for it. He'll indeed take it at about the six-yard line. The Charger offense makes its way out for the first time in this ball game and leading the way, already a star in just his third season, it's Justin Herbert. And he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football. That's something I could do all day long, watch him throw routes versus air. But he's even more impressive when there are bodies on the field, and he's creating big throws down the field. Well, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler, and he's going to get this from the six out to the twelve. Six as they double their workspace. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. That one good for 13 and a charger first. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover. The angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield. If you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first. And that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Throwing on second and three. Herbert now left. He's got it to Everett. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of 11. The Charger first. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And some room to work. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Three yards of the pickup there and first. You were telling me this yesterday. It's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run over. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. He's going to have the first down and more than that. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 
Trey Greenlaw in there on the tackle. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Once more, here's Eckler. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Back to throw here, Herbert. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here and put it in the end zone. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. They want to be... And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Chargers go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7 nothing lead. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the San Francisco ready for their first drive of the game on offense. And in his ninth season in the league, six for the 49ers, Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback. And Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback, but his biggest problem, his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field. When able, he's a kicking quarterback for the winning game in the regular and postseason. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down to the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient. He finds the hole, and when the hole is there, he goes to his quick. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? to 
a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Man open right side. It's Rodgers. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Well, they needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. Fred Warner, first time All-Pro in 2020, in on the stop defensively. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Herbert. Wide open, it's Allen, complete. And the Chargers are going to be set up with a first to goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Herbert going to keep it on his feet. And he'll get it. He's over for the touchdown. Justin Herbert scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Chargers have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. set to get this drive underway and they're in an early hole the first drive they threw the interception that led to a touchdown so decent sized deficit early on it is but I think you hit the key words early on so they have to decide do we even need to change game plan or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game on second down McCaffrey it's a five yard gain but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now so they just need one yard here to pick up the first down Garoppolo to throw on third and one trying for Ayuk but it's intercepted and the Chargers are going to take possession of the football but they're certainly not giving much help to their defense are they because for the second time now that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Trey McKinney, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? surprised that they're leading right now absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down following the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away
ball will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Jimmy Garoppolo and the rest of his offense ready for their next possession. And he's been off target here early on. Two drives, two interceptions. He'll look to snap that streak here as they start first and 10. Gets past one man. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A well-executed 22-yard game. the god McCaffrey and he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory the first down run got five here's second and five how about this they'll try the option left side and he's dropped just before the line to gain four yard pickup leaves him with third and one Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third in the yard. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Garoppolo looks to throw. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Got his target, Samuel. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 22-yard line. for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again, and a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down, and that will be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. The kick by Gold is good, and that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points, obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. Picked off by Fred Warner, and the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. So really.
really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Garoppolo to throw. Over the middle, and he's got Gray. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. When the hitch route has run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space. And across the chalk into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from four yards out. And the 49ers get a bit closer. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Going back to Allen, he's got him again. Yeah, he's got the out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I like that one, partner. They go back-to-back -back with excellent gains, and really it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. Running on first down, Eckler. 61 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to the zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. 
Eckler. Trying to run inside. And now the red flag out on the field. We'll have a challenge forthcoming. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times just want... And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it, and he gets it done. Hopkins with the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taking it about the one. And they'll get him down inside the 30 to 27. The Niners set to take over on offense. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. McCaffrey running up the middle and down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. DeAndre Carter back deep. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. From down near his goal line here, Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. I know sometimes we can get four when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. On third down, here's Eckler. And this won't do it. He needs six. He got halfway there. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. A give to the fullback on the dime. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. Well, he 
they kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. It'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That'll put him over 100 yards receiving now here in this first half of action. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Herbert now. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps it calculated. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand. This drive reaches the end zone. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And then we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with the bandit. Quick slant complete to Keenan Allen. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 23. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Throw again on second down. Garoppolo. They'll set up the 
screen to McCaffrey. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. And this looks like a roughing call. Well, they were setting up the screen CD, a lot of free runners, and they got there late, and the penalty ensued. Yeah, somehow it didn't get into their brains that it was a screen, right? Instead of pulling off and chasing the ball downfield, they kept going towards the quarterback and knocked it down way late. That was the penalty flag each and every time. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Garoppolo. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers have the third ball here at their own 35-yard line. Well, there are several factors at play for why they face this deficit right now, Charles. But, but that's now three interceptions that he has thrown and just giving the football away. Pretty careless here in the opening half. Yeah, I know that all of our parents taught us to share as youngsters. But in this game, you don't want to share with the other team. Keep it for yourself. Keep it for your team. Got to cut down on all of those throws, those errant passes, but they hope to get back into this game. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield. This might be a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. The middle is Michelle. And he's going to get this one down to 45. Five yards. Now it's 35. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, Michelle. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play to stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. So we come to have after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams are here ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Give him 13. 
13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Second and ten. sequence they're sitting pretty comfortably they force the fumble get the field goals expand on that lead here in the second half and don't expect them to rest on their laurels after that kick either they'll keep their effort up until the final whistle if they don't consider any lead safe the following may field goal for three hopkins now to kick it off And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe getting the traffic in order to get home towards their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in the league that we talk about, every game being a one score game as we go into it, watching this. has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go back to their thought process. No one left behind, no pointing fingers, no accusations, because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. Mike 
This is McCaffrey on the give. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey, his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners are able to cut into that deficit. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually save it until the very end. Touchdown the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well. His teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 the charger drive about to get going still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10 there's a throw out wide complete to his run back right side just strike back with a touchdown right here and if it's a long play so be it but the main goal get a couple of first downs run some plays run some clock allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score and he'll take this up to the 30 the game of four when you find that kind of yardage you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier and guess what you're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator i'd like to keep carrying it thank you scores a touchdown for them, so they come right out, force what should be a three and out, and keep the momentum squarely on their side. 46 yards on the boot, the coverage holds him to just three on the return, and the Niners will go on offense first and ten. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and ten at their own 24. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey, takes it to the 20. One-yard game. Well, sometimes you have to get to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left him no space to try and run. And a loose football. And picked up by the Chargers. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Well, these guys wanted to get back in perfect second half and down three scores a lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan that reminds me of my plan in college to get an a on the papers i turned in but that didn't work out too well either <laughs> too many mistakes has it knocked free and his guys are going to get the football at the 28 yard line around him i know we but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point that's training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time you get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, this is what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And the second wave of tacklers is going to as they stop it behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Looking deep for Jennings. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by the Seattle. And the Chargers are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. They'll still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they can be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. That's 
Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Call that a very strong game to 24. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing route because you've got to give the receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and then to a throw. Thank you, guys. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. They suspected that there was a power play up the middle coming at him, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Herbert gets this into the hands of Allen, and they're going to move it down inside the 25. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Bring up second down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still... With his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. 86 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Herbert on third down now. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there, and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Football will come out to the 25s. McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. This one caught by Kittle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, a 6-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Gold with the extra point, and that'll make this a 19-point ball game. So the drive there took six plays, and the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Oh, my goodness, I thought he'd peel off. Instead, he makes the fair catch at the two-yard line. The Chargers ready to take over. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a 
touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Try to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Play action. It's Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of speed racing that we've been watching. Huh? Yeah, it has been the quarterback and receiver dominated. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Surprised at all that they went with a fullback there? Not at all, because it harkened back to the days where we watched these games almost in black and white. Right? The stocky guy, the strong guy, the powerful guy with leg drive. Give him the football, and even if the blocking isn't perfect, he has the ability to scatter bodies and move people enough to pick up first downs. That's what we just saw right there. And not a whole lot doing there, so he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Back to throw here, Herbert. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charge your first down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On the give, this is their fullback. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. There to make the tackle, Samson Abuka. Second and ten. <laughs> Herbert. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Well, normally you might say start running the football, you've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continue to do so. A good position to be in here, second and in inches. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, he's got to have that wrong, doesn't he? They, they decline that. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Sorry to step on you there, partner, but let's go ahead and run this one together, right? Incomplete pass, yet they call pass interference, and somehow you're going to decline that ball confused and well, he is going to have the Chargers first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches Brandon when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively and one of the differences in this game no doubt third down conversion and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Now this throw caught left side. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 17-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. 51 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far.
Herbert off of play action. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chargers drive the entire length of the field, 99 yards for the score. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And that will bump the lead up to 26. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taking it about the one. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but with self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Here we go with McCaffrey. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Garoppolo now. That's complete left side to Gray. Call it a game of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. This game well in hand. Perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Garoppolo again. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he's got some space here. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone. It's Garoppolo toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing now is Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. They do get a couple, but they'll be left to get a third and eight coming up. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. The Charger drive about to get going. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. 91 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on his faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And 
they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Herbert on first down now. He's airing it out for Williams. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. And here's a leaping catch. He pulled it in. And they're going to speed things up here. On first down, Justin Herbert. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. Well, they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That was a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. It's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. On first down, Garoppolo. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown. Take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. And this will not work out. The Chargers... We'll give this one to Eckler. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage. Work on that clock if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football. Gain some yardage. Put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. A gain there of 12 yards at a first down L.A. It's Eckler again. They find a little bit of room out for four yards. It'll be second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here's Herbert. And that one almost intercepted. Could have been his third pick of the game. Instead, it's going to bring up a third down. Now it's Herbert. Side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Herbert jogs off, and out comes Dustin Hopkins to take this kick for L.A. on fourth down. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, 
The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead is almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Garoppolo now, first down throw. That's caught downfield by Kittle. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And some space here. Touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. to a two-score game here in the fourth. Now gold for the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The drive there only spanning three plays. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. Quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when the team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recoup the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder that that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like the coach just tells me when you score on special teams, 90% of the time you win the game. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. On the move to the left. And to take it down here just shy of the 30. game for him, but there was a side of the move as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his leg. Two minutes left likely in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back to the two-minute warning. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On first and ten, Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. So fresh out of the two-minute warning and that's their time with 1.55 remaining. With the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. sideline and talk over what to do next so they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw would likely put it into this thing once more here's Eckler and here he'll get it down to seven now the defense will burn their third and final timeout and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down Chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Game in hand. The offense takes the lead. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. And we'll see if the defense wants to stop it as they take the lead. And now can they reverse the trend on Third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Look like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will extend their lead.
so with that, you figure, yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down, but don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. Company man. Now, aren't I the and they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, it's so there's some plays they can build on moments where the game plan actually worked but overall though they were just out personnel they were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level after the incompletion here now third and two Garoppolo looks to throw and my goodness another interception picked up by Michael Davis now the Chargers are going to take possession here at their own 33 well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard. But also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence. to know the situation. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams... They're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.